Well, we're taking a live look now in Birmingham. Got some clouds out there in the distance. And temperatures right now in Birmingham sitting now at 65 degrees, seeing some clouds in some spots like Gadsden and parts of Coleman. Meanwhile, in Vance, mostly clear in Tuscaloosa, you can even see the sun coming up there. And that'll be the gist of the day. Places farther north, more cloud cover. Places farther south, more sunshine. And all has to do with this area of circulation over western Kentucky and Tennessee. That is what is left of Helene. Every now and then we get a little of rain come in from the northwest and that will be possible again today. The WVTM 13 live Doppler is clear. We're not tracking any rain at the moment. That doesn't mean we're not seeing any mist or um, fog out there this morning, but we'll start out in the 60s, climb quickly to the mid 70s. We'll climb to the upper 70s by 3 p.m. with a 30% chance of rain throughout the day today. And again, places farther north will have a higher chance of seeing that. The high in Birmingham today, 79, 80 in Talladega, 80 in Calera, 81 in Clinton, 82 there in Brent. Places farther north in the 70s, 71 in Gaston, 71 in Jasper, 77 Fayette, close to 64 up there in Coleman where there is more cloud coming. But as we move through the day, that rain chance is going to be north and west of I-59, that 30% chance of rain. Not washed out, but showers possible at times, enough to have a rain jacket and an umbrella handy just in case. Now we're looking at the tropics. Got a lot to talk about. For starters, we have a Category 2 hurricane Isaac out in the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see, it was a Category 1, but it strengthened to a Category 2 recently. We also have Joyce out here in the Atlantic. This red area behind Joyce, that has a high chance of developing into a tropical storm. That tropical storm would be Kirk. And then out in the Caribbean and parts of the Gulf of Mexico, places closer to home, we have a medium chance of this area developing into some sort of tropical depression, tropical storm. If it does develop into a storm or even a hurricane, it would be named Leslie. But we'll keep an eye out on that. Where would it eventually go? Well, as you can see, it's kind of headed towards the Gulf of Mexico. However, where will it make landfall if it even becomes a storm, which chances are only a medium, it will landfall likely somewhere between Louisiana and the Big Bend area of Florida. Models have been all over the place the past few days. We'll keep an eye out on it. They've been constantly changing. Nothing to worry about yet, but we'll keep you guys updated. Here's your seven day forecast. We'll climb to 78 today. We'll wake up in the lower 60s tomorrow and then climb to 82 Monday and then 86 by Wednesday. When a cold front makes its way through, drier, warmer air rolls in by Thursday and we'll keep an eye out on the tropics towards the end of the work week.